Taiwan, most of us know from a small label, made in Taiwan, which sticks on things like plastic bowls, cameras, or even on textiles. However, very few of us know that Taiwan is an exciting country that produces much more than just consumer goods for the West. The small island, which was hard besieged by China and successfully defended by the Taiwanese, holds mysterious secrets and cultural assets that make us marvel. Can you imagine eating 16-legged giant isopods? New human race. 25 kilometers off the west coast of Taiwan, researchers found human remains on the seafloor. During the last ice age when the sea level was lower, the channel was connected to the Asian mainland, and the find at a depth of 60 to 120 meters was on dry land. The fossil consists of an almost complete right lower jaw with primitive looking teeth. The bones were initially hawked by fishermen as souvenirs and ended up in a roundabout way in Taiwan's National Museum of Natural Sciences. Only later did researchers discover that the creature, named Penghu-1, was a hominin that lived between 10,000 and 190,000 years ago. The jaw and teeth indicate that this completely new race of humans possessed a far simpler physique than other early humans living at that epoch. The similarity between Penghu-1 and a 400,000-year-old fossil from Hexian in southern China has led scientists to suggest that these fossils may represent a previously completely unknown group of archaic human types. Giant toads descend on island. A highly poisonous toad mysteriously introduced to Taiwan from the Americas is spreading rapidly. Researchers discovered the invasion after a resident shared photos online. So far, more than 200 toads have been caught. As the giant toad is spreading extremely fast, Experts fear a disaster for Taiwan's ecosystem. Conservationists are warning about the toad in education campaigns. Toads are seen as symbols of good luck in Taiwan, with giant specimens like this one associated with wealth and fertility. This could lead to a dangerous sympathy with the species, which displaces other native animals and also poses a danger to children. The recent invasion in Taiwan may have been caused by black market trade and the questionable lucky charms and illegal breeding. Intersexual shark discovered. Pansexual, omnisexual, asexual. Who can really keep track of it all? And whoever thinks that this sexual revolution of confusion and colorful confusion only affects us crazy humans is mistaken. Also with the sharks the trend arrived or say we better, perhaps this kind developed it. The shark that appeared off the coast of Taiwan is a Pacific pointy-nosed shark that was just under half a meter long and weighed only 400 grams. The animal had both fully formed male and female sex organs. Normally, sharks develop as either males or females, making intersex specimens extremely rare. This unique shark had the ability to function reproductively as either a male or female. While intersex sharks are rare, Scientists have yet to find one that carries a living embryo in its uterus. The causes of intersexuality in sharks could be genetic factors or environmental contamination. Or the trend could apply to the world's oceans as well as land and humans. The discovery of the intersex shark raises intriguing questions about reproductive mechanisms and makes one wonder if the separation between male and female can really still be maintained in any form. But tell not addicted Taiwanese, the Taiwanese have a great weakness that makes them happy, but also sick. The bitter woody to sweet-tasting betel nut is chewed on every corner in the small country and is a kind of folk drug. Anyone who treats themselves to an energy drink, enjoys their fifth espresso, or goes out for a quick smoke would probably chew a betel nut in Taiwan. The effect of the nut is even said to go far beyond that of caffeine and is often compared to amphetamines. Chewing betel nuts wrapped in betel leaves not only provides an energy boost, but also has a social component, especially among people who work outdoors. Despite their popularity, there are serious health concerns because betel nuts not only discolor teeth, they are also suspected of causing oral cancer. Shockingly, about 90% of patients with oral cancer in Taiwan report reaching for betel nut regularly. Despite the known health risks, Betel nut consumption remains widespread, as many believe it provides energy, warmth, and social connections. Giant isopods for lunch. In the vibrant metropolis of Taipei, there is a culinary sensation that will amaze even the most adventurous foodies. 
a local soup restaurant has launched a dish that not only arouses curiosity, but also generates conversation. A bowl of soup garnished with a 14-legged giant isopod. These sea creatures, usually hidden in the depths of the ocean and known for their impressive size, are not actually part of the classic human diet. For us, the idea of serving such a creature in a soup bowl takes some getting used to, but Asians are known to give everything a taste of what's crawling. Worldwide health experts consider this trend dangerous because it is suspected that in this way also unknown viruses come among the people. All influenza epidemics of the last decades and the COVID pandemic broke out on Asian markets where strange creatures were sold for extra culinary pleasure. The Taiwanese host makes his maritime delicacy pay well. A bowl of noodle soup with a giant isopod costs a whopping 50 US dollars, and since the creatures are rare, there is a waiting list. Those who finally have an isopod on their plate will find out that this crustacean eats very much like a lobster. Bizair rocks fascinate thousands of visitors. Hidden in Taiwan's diverse landscape is a geological wonder that attracts both locals and tourists from all over the world. The Yelyu Geopark. This unique place is famous for its bizarre and impressive rock formations known as hoodoo or mushroom stones. Formed by thousands of years of erosion by wind, rain, and sea, these natural sculptures are the most beautiful in the world. They stand like sentinels in the landscape, and that is exactly how they were seen by the ancient peoples of Taiwan. Stone and earth spirits are said to dwell in this place, and some of these stones even have their own names. Mysterious structure to be banned from Google. The Taiwanese government makes no secret of the fact that it has applied to the internet information provider Google to delete a very specific area on Google Earth. To be precise, it is the Itu Aba Island in the South China Sea. Why the island is to be deleted for the curiosity of this world. About this the government does not give any information. Those who zoom in on the island will find these strange formations next to an airstrip. The discovery has prompted amateur detectives as well as professional geologists and historians to come up with theories. Some believe they could be ancient shipwrecks, while others speculate that they could be artificial islands or military installations built as part of territorial claims. Google has rejected the government's request several times before, claiming there were no drifting reasons. Strawberry Crab Discovered Now when you hear the terms Taiwan and Strawberry Crab, you probably think of another culinary specialty. But in this case, it is different. The strawberry crab is a brand new kind of crab, which is red and resembles a strawberry. When you see these pictures, you probably feel more like a toadstool than a strawberry. Cute is the little animal, no matter what you associate it with. And the crab fascinates the world of science. It's amazing how many new species and features are still being discovered, even though we think we know it all the migration of the blue sea snail. And because flashy animals are just beautiful, we'll continue with the blue sea snail right away. This species was and is already known, but that the species also occurs in Taiwanese waters is quite new. The snail, which looks more like a large blue ink blot, normally lives in southern tropical waters, such as around the Indonesian archipelago. Experts suspect that the colorful little animals are migrating northward due to climate change. The extent to which such animal migrations affect ecosystems such as the oceans and reefs is currently a field of intensive research. Sinkhole in Taipei. While the world still somehow seems to be in order in the ocean, chaos often reigns on land and especially in the world's major cities. In Taiwan's capital, Taipei, mayhem and chaos broke out when the ground suddenly gave way in the Xinyi district and a giant hole gaped in the earth. The district is one of the busiest neighborhoods in the bustling city. Not far away are skyscrapers and many other buildings where many hundreds of people live or work. Fortunately, the hole had occurred in a place where no people were harmed. Nevertheless, the shock sat in the population for many days and weeks. Why the hole had appeared was being investigated. Presumably, it was underground water accumulation that washed out cavities and then caused the increasingly thin soil to sink in race of many humans. That the comparatively small island of Taiwan was inhabited by an unusual variety of human species is shown by the discovery of skeletons of a strikingly small and probably very dark race of humans. Archaeologists from Australia, Japan, Taiwan, and Vietnam found in a cave the relics of a group of these people, 
which are about 6,000 years old. Skull and femur bones revealed that the people grew only about 1.50 meters tall. Genetic studies showed that the people, christened Negritos, were related to present-day indigenous tribes in the Philippines, the Malay Peninsula, and the Andaman Islands, who are also very short in stature and strikingly dark. The Return of the Clouded Leopards We end this fascinating journey to Taiwan with the return of an elegant creature long thought to be extinct. Formosan clouded leopards were thought to have disappeared forever from the face of this world decades ago, but now individual specimens have been spotted again in southeastern Taiwan. Farmers in the area report sightings and the sporadic loss of livestock, such as goats. The return of this rare and beautiful species is viewed with pride by the local indigenous people who believe it is a particularly good omen. The tribe has requested help from the country's game wardens and is actively involved in conservation efforts and publicity campaigns to raise funds for the establishment of a clouded leopard sanctuary. The 70 centimeters to 1.10 meters tall slender and elegant big cats are extremely shy and can rarely be filmed except with cleverly placed night vision cameras. The species belongs to a whole series of smaller Asian leopard species and is of course strictly protected. What do you say now to these discoveries around Taiwan? Were you aware that this country is so exceptionally rich in natural monuments, animal species, and national characteristics?